Okay guys, I'm back and this is going to be the uh, the puddle thing that I was talking about. Now I uh, mixed up some Vallejo fluid with the uh, very uh, first uh, pouring medium, which makes it sort of like, well, just a little thicker than water, I guess. It's uh, kind of thin. But what I want to do is try to do one of those puddle pour things. So this is a, uh, a gesso board. And this is it. Museum series panel. It's from Ampersand and it's a nine times 12 and that's inch. And in centimeters, that's 23 by 30. So it's a nice, nice size. Um, I, f I finished the back so it won't get dirty and I put a tape around the side because I don't want the, uh, the paint to pour straight off. Um, I'm going to try to create some blooming when, um, when you don't use uh, silicone and your paint is really thin, then what happens, the paint sort of blooms because of the density of the paint. And we all know that the white, this is the most dense, uh, almost any, um, brands you choose the white is always the most dense paint so what i want to do is pour the colors on top of each other then pick up the panel and sort of manipulate it that the colors sort of wash over each other then i'm going to lay it down let it do its thing and it might take a long while because when density comes into play you you have to give it time to to sort of move so we're going to do that and we're just going to see what happens. Um, I've never done this before because, um, well, I haven't, <laughs> I don't have a reason. I just haven't. And, uh, sometimes it's just nice to do something that you've never done before. And it's not that much uh, a waste. These, uh, these panels, uh, for, for the people living in the USA, they are, um, really nice and cheap. I like this. Um, you know, some people say, you know, I can't spend that much money on, on the canvases and I understand, but if you use these, these are, as you see, archival, they are good. They are, um, I think, uh, they have the quality that you can sell them. If you uh, make something pretty and you want to sell them, uh, you have these little stick on labels for the back. If you want to hang your, uh, artwork and all, uh, all together, it makes a, a nice clean piece of art. So that's what I think. Uh, we're going to uh, mix up the paint a little because it has been standing here a while. I had to do a little Dutch video in between. Here we go. Nice and smooth. I have two colors blue because I like those two colors together. I'm going to do it right smack in the middle. I, I think that'd be the best. There we go little bit of white. Ooh, pretty. I kind of like that. Look at that. And I'm hoping that it's going to give us some nice blooming. I'm going to pour a little bit more now. And I'm so glad I put, see that I put tape around the side so it doesn't pour straight off. That's the last of that color. The last of this one. And the last of that one. Okay, now we're going to give it a little swirl. There we go. Got to fill up the whole canvas though. We don't want it to show. There it is. Okay. And now I'm going to get some scissors to take off the tape.
Here we go. And now it's allowed to go over the side if it wants to. I think I'll help it over the side a little. Because I kind of like what's going on here. <laughs> there it is. Okay, we'll see what happens, if anything happens. Letting it run down back. And I'm not seeing much, you know, pushing. And I am going to try and torch it a little bit, just to give it a little warm. That's okay. I kind of like what's happening here. I like this bit. I'm not too fond of that. And I like this. And normally I'd say I'd give it a couple of minutes to do something, but I'm not seeing much happening. Or you guys must see something happening, but I'm not. I do like that though. This is beautiful. Okay, then I am going to do one more thing with it. And come in here. That I like. I sort of like that. Too bad I can't put that. I like that better. Yeah. That I like, I like it. But I would have liked a little bit of action uh, with the, uh, with something, you know, sort of cell-y, cell-like. I'm not sure how to say. Let's see, what can we do? You know, seeing this close up, that is beautiful. This is all beautiful. It's sort of like what happens when you, you know, give, uh, resin some color and you put the colors together. I kind of like that, but let's see if, if we can do something to it Okay, watch if you see something happening. Oh Yes, we saw something happening That I like That was a short spray with the silicone from really far away. Look at that. And now I'm going to do something else. I did is I sprayed some um, I'll show you this is clear varnish here you go let me get in close there it is it's transparent uh, varnish and I'm hoping that it's gonna sort of um, keep those cells uh, contained that it'll hold it that it'll sort of make them not move anymore 
because I really like what it did. The only thing that um, sort of, uh, let me get you back in focus here. The only thing that I, I'm not too fond of is that I got a couple of holes here and there, but I'm gonna fix that. Let's see. Here we have some paint. And that we can fix. And this stuff stinks like crazy and I shouldn't have done that, but <coughs> that was a little bit too much. Okay, we'll just leave it like this, let it dry like this, and we'll see what we get tomorrow. <coughs> it's really stinky. So uh, we'll just leave it here, and I'm going to upload the video and see. Uh, it is getting sort of um, like you're looking through milk glass. It's kind of uh, a really new effect. I don't know what to say about it, but I like it. Okay, guys, that's it for today, and I'm going to see you all back tomorrow. So let this thing dry all on its own. We're not going to do anything more to it. And if we don't like it tomorrow, we'll put something on top or use it as a background because I've got some stencil ideas. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Bye-bye.